Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to a new movie. This was a new request from one of my patrons and um, today I'm going to react to Ride with the Devil. It's a movie from 1999, my bird year. What I know about this movie is that it is about the American Civil War. Um, and I also know that uh, Tobey Maguire is in it and the guy who plays Billy Loomis in Scream. I watched all the Scream parts last week, so I saw that he was in us like, hey, that's Billy Loomis. So yeah, he's also in there. For the rest, I don't know a lot of art that it's about the American Civil War. So um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna watch it, see what I think about it. And before I start, I wanna tell you that if you also want me to react to a movie, you can check out my Patreon. You can uh, choose the movie by choice tier there, and you can also recommend an episode or just a regular video. Everything is possible, so check it out. And you can also find my full reaction, so the uncut reaction to this movie on there. So yeah, if you're interested, check that out. And then now I am going to watch this movie. Oh damn. So it doesn't really matter which side you're on, it's both dangerous. But if you don't choose a side, it's even more dangerous. My cat hears the horse and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, Jeffrey Wright is also in this. That's really cool. Bernard from Westworld. There he is. It's gonna take me a while to not see him as a serial killer because I just watched six Scream movies, but... What brings you so late to Sister Scream? I mean, wait. Let him speak now or else forever. Hold his peace. Looks very bright and colorful. You know very well we'll have no hand in jayhawking or abolitionist provocations. I did not imply it, sir. I believe so you did. My home is no place and this is no time for political quarrels. We're at a wedding. All old friends here. Wedding is a peculiar thing. It's no more peculiar, Jake, than slavery. Well, that's certain. Men are every day enslaved at the altar, regardless of their state or color. Poverty ensures my freedom from such a fate. I heard her singing the old praises earlier to a sister of the groom. So, arranged marriages are like a thing. Good day, Mrs. Staff. Paul, you may have borne me in Germany, but I was raised here. These are my oh, people. Okay. And if it gets hard... Your people. You will always be a Deutschman, a German to them. Oh, fuck. Okay. Who are they looking for? He told me to run, Jake. Wait, is that his father? Oh, oh yeah. Honestly, the fact that he's keeping slaves doesn't give me any respect for him. But like, I guess it's more about the son because he's like, um, I think Tobey Maguire and uh, I forgot his real name, but the, the guy who plays Billy Loomis, um, that they're the two main characters. Yeah. So you were in on my fan, huh? Oh. Okay! That was so out of nowhere. They forced me. You killed me, Don't hurt women, ma'am. Dude, you just killed her husband. I think you did hurt her, but okay. She's literally begging you to shoot her. We should leave her in the store. So you're just gonna leave her behind with nothing. That's pretty fucked. I don't really know what to think of them. Like I get why they shot the other guys, but he said like they forced me to help them. I don't know if that's the truth, but he seemed like just a helpless man who was just owning a store, you know? So I don't know. And then to just leave the woman like that? Boys come for Clyde, hope they're set free with the heaven, so he rides with us now. Them Yankees want to kill him real bad. Is that the ride? Wait, I know her. We are seven men and hungry. Oh, come on. Eight is what we hire. Ma'am? I would be so annoyed if there was like five, 50 Love people you. outside my hired yes. house and be like, uh, we're hungry, and then you'd have to make food no, for all no. of them. My son's in the barn. Like you don't have better things to do. Gave up a leg at Wilson's Creek. Oh. He should ride with us. If you lose a leg, I think you're done with fighting. I also don't think you're gonna be of much use, so... <laughs> I could've killed you both. I saw it rolling past the little piles of meat and bones which I was calling friends. 
Mm. Oh, footprints that I can head home. You are a fool. Cannonball, rip your leg. <laughs> so he did it on purpose? No. no. <laughs> Never mind. No. So you're just no. gonna sit in a barn all day then? You could help her out some, don't you think? Get yourself a stick to lean on and walk around. Yeah. Like How do you even get that much food so fast? Your paws of Dutchman. Jake may have been born a Dutchman, but my mom and pa practically raised him. He's southern as they come. I thought he was from Germany. I'm pretty sure German and Dutch are different things. Says the Dutch person. Where's the other one, you devil? That's my daddy's horse. He was shot off at three days back. He's lying. <laughs> The random gun fights. I feel like every time they come so out of nowhere. And then you let all these people into your house and this is what you get. Best believe it, there ain't no way we're not going. Mm, I hope that's true. I fear for them. Reminds me of when I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. Oh. oh! Right through the face. Oh my god. That kid looks like he's like 15. I guess they start fighting at 14 or something. Oh my god, how are you still talking? Oh my god, how are you not dying from pain? Kinda how it looks like when I don't drink with a straw at this moment. Tell me that guy is not 15 years old. I kinda wanna know how old the actor is in this movie. The thing is I have no idea how this guy is called in the movie, so I have no idea to be honest. I think I know who he is. Because I think it's this guy, you can't really see it that well, but I think it's him. And he is the bishop in Vikings. I think the one who like hooked up with Lakarta in like the last few seasons. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird because he looks so different here. I mean, obviously this is like 20 years earlier, but that's funny because at first I didn't recognize him and then I realized that now I recognize him. You got some better idea, Dachi? Maybe you should volunteer yourself. You should speak up more, Rodell. You're not near so dumb as you let on. Oh. <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> ah! Bernard! Wait, did we actually see him before? Was that the one they were talking about when they were being really racist? I think it was, but That's I didn't Jake. look. <laughs> you knew that going to stay too. My finger? Mm -hmm. I mean, people are losing limbs. So, I think... You're fine with the finger. Someone got shot through his cheeks, I mean. <laughs> that is a weird idea. Oh, then they'd know it's him. Scientifically accurate, I'm afraid. People would say, who was that? Another finger, Jake Rodell. Go and tell my father I was clearly murdered. This is very specific. And how the fuck do you even come up with that? You're like, oh, my finger got shot off. Hmm, what is the positive thing about this? And then you come up with this story. What is going on there? Are they beating up the prisoners? That's someone else's letter. I want to hear you read it. I don't think I care to. <laughs> oh, is that so? Think a little bit more, Dutchie? Why is he so angry at him? What's the reason? Read it, Alice. Honestly, it's kind of funny too, because they're being really racist to Bernard. But in the meantime, he's also being he racist to, towards him because he's from a different country, basically. Um, so honestly, I don't feel too bad for him. So that news, I cannot answer her. I know why I miss Bernard at first, because I was taking a picture of Billy. Just sent to my friend who I watched Scream with. I am very sorry that I'm naming them all by different names from like other characters, but I keep forgetting their own names. I still don't get why they're calling him Dutchie while he's German. Do they just really think it's the same because it's next to each other? He rode straight from here and killed your father. Oh, fuck. 
down by the river, then booted him along Main Street till he died. He taught him mercy, but he forgot the lesson. Unionist, like all the Germans, an unconditional unionist. But he was mainly known as your father, Dutchie. You got a reputation now. It's kind of fucked that you bring your family in danger like that. It's so funny to see to see Jeffrey Wright in another cowboy role. Even though he wasn't even like a cowboy in Westworld, he was just like, uh, no, I'm not spoiling anything. Don't you call me Miss Evans? My name is Sue Lee Shelley. It's a good one that I am a widow now. What are you smiling at? I see that you. Wait a second, what did you say? Let that woman see your face. Damnation, Holt. I think I know best how to handle my personal affairs. <laughs> you really don't get how you can travel with them. You know they're just all being racist towards you and you're still like part of them. I mean, they did explain why he was <laughs> traveling with them, but yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I just be annoyed all the time. But I feel like he's dealing with it pretty nicely because he's pretty shady about everything and I love that. You men think of us more. You do the good work, I know it's dirty and it's dangerous. Just feeding their ego. We're awful sorry about Evans Jr. getting killed. Well, we all suffer, but he suffers no more. He's a good husband to me. If you think about it like that. He was a good husband, it last. They were only married for three weeks? Or was he only a good you husband for three inside. weeks? His name is Hope. Wouldn't he be more useful off in a field, clown? Jesus. I didn't mean to speak ill of you, nigga. He's just a nigger who I trust with my life every day and night, that's all. Okay. I'm always really annoyed by the racism in these movies, but I'm also kind of trying to think like that's the time. And basically everyone grew, grew up with that idea, like that's how you speak of them and slaver, slavery and stuff is normal. But I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like every like normal thinking person could see that it's wrong. So that's why I'm not really like liking these people. I'm also always thinking like, isn't it kind of uncomfortable for black actors to play these roles and just like... I mean, of course they know it's a role and that's why you're an actor, but... I don't know, I think I'd feel uncomfortable. Oh. You want my bacon? I could eat well. Rodeo, you want my bacon? <laughs> Why is everyone giving each other their bacon? Yes, I could eat it. Well, I'll shit it out by the oak tree in the morning and just go and help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they believe everyone should live and think just like them. We shall lose because we don't care one way or another how they live. Are you saying, sir, that we fight for nothing? Far from it, Mr. Childs. You fight for everything that we ever had. Jack Bull, we should be thinking about getting back. Okay, so his name is Jack Bull. I'm gonna try to um, Jake. It's too cold. remember it. Yeah, and he's Jake. Fired. Jack and Jake. Hi, Shall we have a sing along? I believe I won't sing. Your years are present. <laughs> yeah, but you sing lovely. Is he gonna sing? Oh, I really hoped we would see him sing or hear him sing. They were like, nah. You will not see that. We're just going to imply that he does it. <laughs> I think though I like the one from the mama best. He is so young. He even sounds young. Where's your mother? I know she sold it to Texas. With George, what brought me out when Master Henry passed, but you know, no means for my mama or my sister. So quiet, don't you? No, sir. No, you don't know me that way. Okay, I'm starting to get the, more the feeling that he's actually like part of the crew and also like um, Jack and Jake, right? I feel like in the beginning it was still like kind of unknown for them like okay, what is this black man doing here? But they're also like seeing okay, there's nothing wrong with this man and he's actually starting to be more part of the group, so that's good. Well, does that look like a meal to you? It's like a man could be. Jack for child. Just because I'm a widow don't mean that you can get that familiar with me. I believe it is you that shoved your Yeah, I just wanted to say, you were the one showing your ass to him. <laughs> get a room. That is pretty awkward with them just sitting there. Oh, for crying out loud, we're sitting right here. Show us some mercy. <laughs> right? Cover your tracks in the snow until you'll be leading curious federals right on to us. <laughs> no reason to be rude. There happens to be a war going on everywhere but between your two ears, you dumb ox. Am I? <laughs> he does kind of have a point. Oh, Jane, my life just did that on its own. Oh, sure. The thing with Sue Lee and you will it go on? I'll marry her. I believe you should. 
I guess get something good out of this war. She seems to like him back, so why not? I thought so, yeah. And what I hope me to do. The walnuts and squirrels, play them on the peg. Far time than that, eh, Hulk? It's possible. So he's just gonna send them outside so they can have sex inside the house. Or whatever you call that. That's not a house. It's like, uh, it's pretty cool though. It looks like they just bolted into there. Try the spread, boys. <clears throat> well, this good weather has me and Hulk want to play walnuts. <laughs> The way he was just waiting for them to leave. <laughs> just go for a walk. At first I really thought he meant in the evening. So I was like, you're just gonna send them out there like in the evening, in the dark, in the cold. But I mean, it seems like nice weather for a nice walk and throwing walnuts at things. You know my name. It's Hope. No. My home name. Daniel. Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Daniel. Throw Daniel to the land. Daniel. It's good that we finally know his name. Now I can stop calling him Bernard. It's funny because when... Um, yeah. Oh. When I was watching Westworld one time with my ex, I think, she was calling him Beady because he was a Beady in the Hunger Games. I feel like he has such iconic little roles. And then you know him from one thing and you keep calling him that. Good shot to the Evans. I heard him. Oh, it's at her house then. You stay put, there's gonna be a fight. Maybe it's a good thing she's there because if they're attacking her house. They got them! They got them! We'll oh. sit and let's die! Oh, suddenly it's really dark. Guess they found them. Is that? Check. Damn. He's not gonna die now, right? I just was just kinda starting to like them. Oh. Yeah, that's what I meant. People are losing limbs and he was crying about his pinky. My grandma lost her pinky too. Fun fact. Fuck. God damn it, don't nobody say that again. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I'm happy we didn't have to see that. I can't find a dog. Yeah, I think a doctor um, might be a good idea at this point. I thought they cut it off already. So they didn't cut it off? Look, Seth. We're taking care of you. Good times. Is he gonna die? I feel like they're really bullying up to him dying. I thought it'd be you, Jake. Dying. Yeah. No wish you were. <laughs> That's so sad. Like a few hours ago, he was still planning to marry her, and he saw his whole life going well. You know. It's pretty sad. Oh, at that point, just kill me, you know. Yeah, sure. Just be quiet while they cut off your fucking arm. Uh, so we do have to see it. Great. Okay, no, not fully though. <laughs> Yeah, I really thought they already cut off the arm like in the previous scene when they were like, the arm has to come off. But I hope they're still on time then. And I hope he might make it after all. And I hope there's actually a doctor on the way. Is he dead? Aww. Fuck. I really hope he still had a chance when they cut off the arm, but I always hate that when they like think, oh yeah, if we cut off the arm or the leg or whatever, then he's gonna, like he has a chance to make it and then they die anyway. So you basically just went through all that pain for nothing. It's kind of in season one of The Walking Dead Telltale, well in the, no wait, that would be a big spoiler if I say that. I think some people might know what I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna say anything else. I love how I'm always 
almost accidentally spoiling stuff and then I realized just in time like oh I can't say this that's a big spoiler but it's also like like how far are you is it okay to like spoil stuff that came out over 10 years ago you know it's kind of like um, when people get mad about people spoiling that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father like dude <laughs> come on <laughs> I kind of wonder how... Welcome back to hell. Oh, that's the guy they were traveling with, right? Yeah. I always wonder how much time has already passed. Because I feel like always in the war movies, time goes pretty quick because they're normally at war for a really long time. Was that the guy who was shot in the cheek? It's kind of funny that they met with them again. Didn't expect we would see them again. That is a dead body. The man we were supposed to kill. <laughs> Easy job. I'm short on cash. Will these do? Two nigger scouts. I see you with one duck scout. I was like, what is that? But ew. I still you can't get over his long hair. No, but like now that I recognize him actually as a guy from Vikings, it is so wild to me how he looked 20 years ago. Why are they acting like that every, after everything they've been through together? Still can't believe Jack is dead though. Today I'm a sad man. I'm sad because I mourn for our sisters and mother. Who slept in that Kansas City jail. Mm. It's like what is this about? Why are you sad boys? I am sad boys. And I am tired. But I am vengeful. Yeah, that I all is pretty see. fucked. I shall ride through Kansas to get there, boys, and meet any Yankee army put in my way, because who would ride with me? Asking? I think there's enough of them who want to join you, if you put it like that. Are there I, mean. Here? I mean, what else are you gonna do? I feel like it's either that, or just wait there to be butchered or whatever. Don't think you're gonna do anything with that. I see everyone is joining. <laughs> For a second I thought he cut off his hair. So we're actually gonna see a battle now. <coughs> right. Yeah, they're done with their shit. Surprise attack. <laughs> yeah, you better run. <laughs> Kill. Well, they never stood a chance. I think he's gonna shoot you. Whiskey? Yes. Or did Whiskey change his mind? Put this in your newspaper. <laughs> To me it seems like you're just killing a lot of innocent people. I don't see any army or any man fighting. You kill him! Oh let me get this picture! Some of these things seem so unnecessary. I feel like this guy is really trying to save himself by doing this, but that in the end he will just shoot him anyway. What was going on? This kid is like, when I grow up I'm gonna kill you all. I think he's actually gonna do something now. Or not. It would have been cool though. I don't know, it just felt like they killed a bunch of innocent people who didn't even stand a chance of doing anything back. Yeah, this was not a fight. Bad luck citizens. Yeah. Bad just, bad luck. just random citizens. Uh, leave my man alone. I don't like that one. Him. He's annoying. At least he's passed out now. Are they just taking chairs? What now? I feel bad for the people. You do what I tell you or I'll kill you. 
And when you figure to do this mean thing to me, Maxson. Honestly, just shoot him right now. He's so annoying. He's gonna keep bothering you. And that bastard will have your scalp if you ain't careful. Mm hmm. There ain't enough thanks in the world. Ah, uh, you go to hell. Thank you, ma'am. Good day. I will always He is gonna shoot you. Just leave. I said it from the beginning. It was so obvious. Like what are you trying here? You're really trying to get on their good side? Well, we destroyed a village, killed dozens of innocent innocent citizens. Let's move on. Yeah, there is something with the boy. Good! Kill him! Nice! Very well. He had it coming. And he killed his father, so he instantly got revenge. So sad. I kind of feel like this movie is called Ride with the Devil because there isn't really any winners. It's just losers, actually. Because everyone is losing something. Like, they kind of want to try to make you... They make you follow these characters, so normally you think, okay, then you would be rooting for them. But I'm honestly not really rooting for anyone, because they're constantly killing innocent people, and they're ruining lives. And I know the other ones are ruining their lives as well, but... I don't know. There's just no winners in this situation. Uh, okay. So maybe it's called Right with the Devil, because they're like these men you're following they could be seen as the devil because they're also killing a lot of innocent people and ruining lives so i don't know that's just how i'm interpreting it So many wounded. Ah. This motherfucker! Get him! No! Oh! Fuck! No! So now they got free game because he died. Or what? Oh no, I thought they tried to kill him because his, like, Owner is that now? Ah, I hate him. Like honestly, attacking your own people in the middle of a battle. How do you even think of that? At least he's okay. Are you gonna make it? He's sad. Yeah, you're gonna make it. Bernard is tough. Honestly, you can put a Westworld actor in any show and I would just be rooting for them constantly because all the Westworld actors, they're just like in my heart. Oh, you heard again? Yeah, hold me, we've been shot. Well, we should have expected it. Well, not by your own people. She has a child? Or is it someone else's child? Wait! Is it? Is it Jack's child? Grace Shelley child, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Worth tells me when he brought that girl here, she was already pregnant. But her married her boy, and they were right not to. Uh. So she didn't tell them. You're that kind of man, does she? So she's living there, but she never told them. Oh yeah, the father of this child died. You know. I think that's also kind of a no-go then because they weren't married and he's dead and now they don't even have the chance to get married so she still got a child from this random dude but I don't know I feel like if you live with people you can kind of trust them at least I hope so to tell them the truth <laughs> so they're actually spreading that rumor they got a name for kids without a daddy you know it ain't a good one so do you want to marry me and just pretend you're the kiss folder. No, not too bad. <laughs> I wouldn't marry you for a wedding full of gold. Even if you weren't some runty little Dutch more than nothing for a finger. Fine. That's damn Damn. Fun. Where did he deserve any of that from for? <laughs> Who are you fooling with that thing? Both wounded. The boys can watch after this little one, not the chores. 
Maybe it's best you talk to him about that particular level. <laughs> yeah, I would reject that too. To Wait a second. And there's a crying baby in your arms. Just great. <clears throat> At least he's trying, I guess. <laughs> oh, having a baby is literally the worst nightmare. Ah, okay, that works. At least you have one pinky left. I just got this thing taken care of. Hmm, okay. So in the be beginning it was pretty bad, but then they got along okay. Baby food. I probably got one more fight in me. Maybe kill the son of a bitch. Accident. Yeah, he we shot he you. It is still so he random to me. He literally just hated him because brains. he's like not born in america that was the only reason and then he shot him while well, they were literally fighting in the same team because he never did anything to him right what cause you think i got for the death with george Clyde. he was as good a friend to you as jack bull was to me just as day as they can be and that day george Clyde died it changed me i didn't know their bond was actually that good i mean of course they had been together for a while but what i felt was free free Hmm. The George, I don't believe I love him. He's that bad friend. No different than me and his nigga. Yeah, honestly, it's just like this guy buys you, he kind of gives you your freedom, but you still, like, yeah, you still kind of, he still owns you. So it's kind of like this guy thinks he's doing a good thing for helping you out that way, but actually it's just like... You're kind of, for kind of forcing yourself into his life and you make him feel like he still owes you stuff. Like, he was kind of forced to be his friend. Of course, that could still be a way better situation than in what situation other black people would be at this time. But like he said, it was just not his place to decide that for him, I think. You get what he means. But honestly, when he died, the first thing I thought, I was kind of fearing for him. Because I was like, if this guy, who basically kind of, yeah, it feels so weird to say, but owns him, if he's dead, and he doesn't like have George anymore. Aren't people gonna try to make him a slave again or something like that? But I mean, he just said he felt free, so guess it's fine then. You always gonna stare like that? He's probably never seen something like that before. Okay, can even hold till the off to get shot by some different fellows here pretty soon. Honestly. What grand spot have you got in mind, Jake? Sparta. It's Sparta. They have olives. What are olives like? I hate olives. Who are they? That's the man. That's him. Getting married today, Dutchie. What? Getting married or you're getting out. I just wanted to make sure you didn't die slow on me before I did it. <laughs> Saddle my horse. We're getting out of here. No. You should do right, Rodell. <sighs> Let's talk. Damn. This is literally what they were talking about in the beginning. That marriage is the same like... Um, no, he said like funeral, but he kind of meant that people were being like trapped into marriages. And I go into a Here we go. Circle is round. I thought you said you wouldn't want me for a wagon load of gold because I'm a nothing fingered runt of a Dutchman. I remember you saying that. I guess I lied. Why can't they just I get out there? I wouldn't lie to you, Jake. You just told me you lied to me before. That was wrong, man. Oh my god. I didn't think he would actually get married to her. The look on his face is just like, okay, I guess this is happening then. Um, aren't you married to a woman now? So they're still gonna sleep in the same bed while he's married, or what are they doing? Well, what is doing? What am I doing? You got him blind? I'm going to sleep, ho. Oh. Rodell, I gotta tell you this. <laughs> tell me what? He's supposed to sleep with the wife, Rodell. <laughs> Hell, this ain't some regular marriage situation. But what you don't like? Then what is it? Aren't most marriages like that? I mean, they talked oh, about this in the beginning. Gosh. Oh, but she also didn't say anything. She was also just like, sure, this is not a regular marriage. That's not how, not how it's happening. Pretty random. <laughs> He's so nervous. <laughs> Rules is you got for me, girl. <laughs> girl. Honestly, what did he expect? I mean, at first I was like, yeah, okay, she said she would never marry him, but then they had the conversation on the bench. And I thought she actually explained to him that she was kind of trying to be romantic and that she lied about not wanting to marry him. And then after that, he was like, nah, I'm not sleeping with her. Are you virgin? Is he? I've seen plenty. <laughs> I've seen plenty. <laughs> 
killed 15 men. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Or does he mean that he had sex with the women after their wives or something? I don't know. <laughs> he looks like a virgin. So Walt's leaving? Or is it... I mean, it would be nice if he was just staying there, just vibing with your best bro. I got to go off somewhere. Where's that hope? And they also still wanted to kill the guy, right? Are they still going to do that? I'm going to find my mama. Aww, that's cute. I believe she was sold to Texas, so that's where I commenced to look I'll go there and pay to buy her freedom. Well, it ain't yet. <laughs> I ain't leaving you till your little now Dutch ass is past Pitt Madison. I still don't get why in the beginning they said he was German and then the entire movie they only said he was Dutch. I cannot get over that. Because they also tried to make the dad have a German accent, so... I'm pretty sure they really meant that. Dutch. Oh, damn. You're 21 again. I'm just now 19. Oh. I wanted to say, ah, he's 15 again, but okay. The other guy actually looked 15 because he didn't have a beard. He <laughs> said I wouldn't cut my hair till I was finished with the war. Oh. You didn't. Yeah, he still wanted to kill the guy, right? I mean, he's married now. I guess he's a family man now. They're trying to smuggle him out of there. He really looks like a kid. Damn. Oh. Oh. Is that him? What the fuck? I didn't expect to see you no more. That is a big coincidence that they run into them there in the random part of the forest or the woods. Awesome chicken. I think I will. Think I'd like some chicken, Dutchie. I thought they'd had to run into him somehow because it didn't feel finished yet. How's Black John? Black John is dead. Hmm. Put his head on a pole. Paraded him right down the street. Put a picture of it in their paper. There's 200 fiddles in Newport. We just rode through them. You can't go on in there. I am going in there. See, that there was my hometown, and I reckon I'll go on in and have me a drink there. Turner, you too? I guess they'll just get themselves killed then. Oh boy, you got me now, Dutchy. I don't think he's gonna do it. I mean, if he's going there, he's gonna get himself killed anyway, so he don't even have, really have to do anything for it. Come on, Turner. You gonna shoot him? It ain't right, it ain't wrong. Yeah. It just is. I feel like that's kinda, that really describes the entire movie. <laughs> it just is. It's not right, it's not wrong, it just is. Now, Rodell, you let them sleep. I ain't too much for a good guys. <laughs> okay i kind of feel like i just went on this whole journey with these guys you know because this movie is quite long it's almost two and a half hours and also um it's like so much time passed, like I'm not exactly sure what the whole time span of this entire movie is. Um, but you can see that at least some years passed in between. At least two years, I think. Like, from the moment the dad from, um, what was his name, Jack was killed up to this moment. Yeah, it were some years, I think. <laughs> but like in the meantime, because the movie is so long and you follow like almost every se uh, step they take, it's like you really follow their entire journey. And like I said before, what was really interesting to me about this movie is that honestly, from the beginning, the thing is just in the beginning of the movie, I had a pretty hard time with actually liking these guys. It was just like, you don't know what they're going to do, what their intentions are, and then they... Yeah, they kind of go to war, um, but at the same time you see that they also do so much things that aren't good. Like you feel because they're the main characters that you're supposed to choose their side, you know? But there was just like, there was this one scene where someone said to him like, don't think of yourself as a good guy. Like, that's not what you are or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I feel like he's right because I feel like no one is actually 
a good guy in this situation because even though they are just fighting the enemy there were so many scenes where you just saw them kill innocent people like people who you know like for example right in the beginning there was just this this random couple who had this like little store you could see that the man was not a soldier or anything or would not hurt anyone in any way but just because they were kind of held up with the enemy because they were there he just shot him too well he was like they forced me to help them i i like i had no choice and then they put the store on fire and they just left the woman with nothing and that were these kind of deeds that i'm like yeah it's war there's only losers here but those were the things that made me not rooting for the main characters i was just like you're really trying to tell yourself that you're the good guy here and that you're fighting for the good side and all but these things are not necessary and it was the same when they attacked the town like of course they thought there would be a big army waiting for them and they would have like an actual big battle there was just innocent citizens in there nothing else they destroyed a full town killed almost all the men ruined some lives and that was basically it i mean of course you still get the message out because they're still like the enemy but I don't know, a lot of things they did just felt wrong. And I think that's also in the beginning of the movie why it said like, um, it doesn't really matter which side you're on, you're just in danger in, on both sides, it said something like that. I, I think I'm saying it wrong right now, but you know which sentence I mean. But I think that represents the movie pretty well. And that's why I also think, like I'm not completely sure if that's true, but I think that's why it's called Ride with the Devil, because of course they're the main characters so you're supposed to think oh these are the good guys because they're the main characters but they also do so much fucked up shit and to other people they might be the devil because they're ruining their lives you know oh okay there's a lot of theories going on here what it actually means someone says um i think the movie actually becomes holes movie and it is he who has ridden with the devil by riding with the with the south as a black man that is actually a pretty good theory that that might be because yeah you see that he's he's part of them but he's not like really part of them on a personal level you know what i mean so that could be a thing someone also says there's an old proverb that goes if you sup with the devil use a long spoon meaning if you must hang around with bad types make sure you keep a good distance between you Right with the devil may be a take on this old saying and certainly fits with the storyline. Yeah, honestly, all these things I'm reading right now, they make sense. I think you can kind of interpret it like you want. But yeah, it was really fun to me that Jeffrey Wright was in this movie because, like I said, every Westworld actor has a special place in my heart. I can't believe I missed him at first because I was taking a picture of the guy who plays Billy in Scream and I was sending it to my friend. I was like, oh my god, Billy's in this. And then I missed Jeffrey Wright at first, but... Um, yeah, his storyline was, I think, one of the most interesting ones. It was also in the beginning, I was so annoyed by the racism they threw at him. Um, of course, that is like part of this in that time. And like the whole thing of indeed a black man fighting in the South. But honestly, I feel like this completely like showed what racism is. Because racism is basically fear of the unknown most of the times. And you see that also in the beginning... Um, Jake, he also said the n-word and he was just calling him slurs and they were um, Yeah, just being really rude to him. They were being really racist towards him uh, But like from the moment he got to know him better It was just like, oh yeah, you're my best bro Like it really is just fear of the unknown, right? Because they see this black man and they're like, oh, there's a black man here. That's not okay But like the moment you see that there's nothing wrong with this guy. He's just trying to live his life and fight for his cause i guess and then you know so that was also kind of interesting to see because also the woman jake married in the end she was being so rude to him when she first saw him and then like the second or like third time when she saw him she was like oh hey hold i made you some bread like if i was hold i would be like okay uh bye but yeah i think the movie had some interesting topics so yeah i also noticed that i'm having a lot of trouble like getting out of my words today so i hope i'm explaining everything right i of course have the face paralyzation which makes it a little harder to pronounce things and talk a lot so i really hope i explained everything well like my thoughts and all but um 
yeah i feel like i'm having a hard time today trying to express it all um like i said it was an interesting ride but yeah mostly because the movie took two and a half hours i mean with little breaks i've been sitting here for three hours now and so much time passed in the movie so it's it's interesting so i think that was my reaction to this movie uh let me know what you thought of it like i said if you want to see my full reaction to it check out my patreon or if you want to uh recommend me another film to react to um, and then that was it. So I hope you liked it. If you did, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!